you know, we're just out here sign waving a gun. Papua's sacred land, um, a lot of history along the whole level. Most of the burial sites in Egypt are going on. Throughout the Pyrena. And, you know, just like it's a really sacred space that shouldn't be getting used for that purpose. Um, and, you know, there's a lot, there's just a lot wrong with this issue. A, a lot wrong with um, stationing the drones there. 600 extra people, but somehow we got like a housing crisis. I mean, imagine if all that land on there was housing, you know, residents of Hawaii and, you know, people were growing through there instead of stationing drones and, and big, huge, great planes. You know, full of people coming every year. It's like, that land could be put to better use and it could be restored and respected. And, you know, I mean, that's literally the meaning of the name, Mokapu, sacred land, right? So, <laughs> Let me ask you this, as a young person, how do you feel about this um, militarization in general? You know, th this is this is one part of militarization, RIMPAC is another, you know, um, how does it make you feel about your future? I mean, I just think, you know, it's a denial of like, you know, housing, land that we could be living on, it's a denial of land that we could be using to produce food. Um, you know, native ecosystem restoration, and they're such bad stewards of the land. Their track record is so horrible. You know, I mean, we can't really expect them to like clean up the messes they've made. Um, they just have such a bad track record. They're so irresponsible. They cause so much havoc and destruction and all time problems. And, you know, it's like they control like a quarter of the land here, and it's sacred land. Starting fires that destroy native ecosystems. I mean, every value we want to have, every hope or dream that we have, every vision of a better Hawaii, is completely undermined by the military presence. And it's just like, it's just like a sanity, but it's so shitty to see it. You know, like, we could be doing so much better, and there's so much we could be doing, but like, all they do is shit all over it. And it's not even for a good justification. You say it's national security, but you look at that justification, you look at the history of it, you look at all the facts, it's not true, right? You say it's about China, they say it's about Russia, you look at all the countries in the Pacific, they've been independent for decades. I mean, I think it's a nonsense justification, you know, before World War II and after World War II, all those wars we fought, they did not need to be fought. They were, you know, driven by corporate interests, driven by strategic whatever, like, it wasn't for freedom, it wasn't for democracy, it wasn't for nothing, it was just greed. And like, especially because this military presence is here because of a nonsense justification that makes it so much worse, right? And it's just like, it's everywhere. It's in Guam, it's in Okinawa, it's in, you know, um, the Azores where my Portuguese ancestors came from. They have a US military airfield that got all polluted and put stuff in the soil and the groundwater. You know, the military presence, 25% of the land, imagine that got kind of attacked in like a full out war. It's like, you know, Kailua, Kaneohe, all the places around the top is gone. All the history, all the Mo'olelo, all the archaeological and religious and cultural sites, all the people, the libraries, the schools, all the restaurants, all the everything, all the native plant restoration, every little thing they're trying to do to, you know, make people's lives better and, you know, take care of the land. All of that, you gotta think about everything that will be lost because of some dumb decision by some guy who would be you know, safe and sound in Air Force One. And just like, it's really sad to see, you know, you know the water contamination, the fires, all the stuff is just so bad. You gotta get it out, in my opinion. I don't think we need any of the presents, you know. I think we could restore Kuhulu or Pearl Harbor, get them out of Mokaku, get them out of, um, you know, Wunan on Evo, all those places. And, they really have that philosophy of Aloha Aina, the U.S. military. They talk about how they, you know, respect, you know, the people and the culture, but they haven't shown it. Um, and Aloha Aina, I think that, you know, kind of idea needs to reign supreme, and that's not happening under the military, and I don't think it ever is. I think it's, you know, mutually, ex uh, mutually exclusive, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think those two things can coexist, and so I say get them out. You know, the drones themselves, they, you know, 90% of the people they hit aren't even intended targets. It's the legal precedent of being able to, like, assassinate people without any judicial process. 
It's kind of just the executive branch decides we're going to kill you, you're a threat. Um, and, you know, a lot of the people who have been killed in these, you know, um, inaccurate drone strikes are children, right? And so, you know, you look at um, the drone strike that happened recently under the Biden administration, 10 people in a car originally said they were terrorists, is what the, um, you know, uh, Biden administration originally said. Turned out it was just a family that was going to get their visas to evacuate to America, like, pretty soon. Um, and I actually wrote down how they're going to go for them. And, uh, you know, some of them are, like, three years old, two years old, four years old. Like, really young kids just got blown up in the wrong train. So it's going to be seen as, like, you know, more accurate or more precise, but it's totally not. Do you think that there's a possibility that those drones could ever be used against people here? I mean... They decided if we got successful enough and, you know, riding all the wrong people, it could easily be deemed, like, um, insurrectionists or, like, you know, going against law and order or going against, like, you know, what's reasonable and good and good orderly society. But, I mean, they could use them against us. Yeah, sometimes when I... When, when I um hear about these drone strikes, you know, as an activist, I kind of wonder, are those activists just like me, you know? I mean, you know, uh, I think it was Julian Assange who leaked, it wasn't a drone strike, but one of the military helicopters killed a bunch of, um, or like two journalists with a pretty big news outlet too, two American journalists. Oh yeah. I got a text one, or correct, Spanish about four, five, three, three. I don't know if that's anybody's Matt Sullivan, call that white six. That's a weapon. Yeah. Let me know when you get it. What shoot? Light them all up. Come on, fire! Roger. Uh, break. Crazy Horse 1 uh, 8. Request permission to uh, engage. Okay, I'm picking up the wounded. Yeah, we're trying to get permission to engage. Come on, let us shoot. A push master, Crazy Horse 1 8. Citizens and U.S. citizens can get killed. 